Okay, so then the fill-in portion of part four goes through a few different crystals and you need to decide whether they have cleavage or fracture and how many cleavage planes they have. So here is the first one, this is Galena. So what I will do is turn it on different sides so you can kind of get a bunch of different views. And then I'll pair my fingers and then you have to decide how many cleavage planes you think there are. Okay. And then right here is your angle of intersection. Okay. So this is a perfect cube. That should kind of help you. The next one is muscovite. So here we have a couple of pieces of muscovite just to kind of give us some comparisons. But as you can tell, they're all very thin sheets here. So, and if you go around, can't necessarily match any of my fingers up. And none of these pieces appear to preserve the same outer shape. And remember, if there's less, one or less cleavage plane, there's no angle of intersection. Okay. The next one is halite. This is a little bigger piece here. So halite is also a cube. And so I'll pair my fingers now. Okay, so it does have six sides. And remember, you can use the sides that are flat and have a parallel matching side as cleavage planes and just divide by two. So take the sides and divide by two. The next one is fluorite. So fluorite kind of looks like two pyramids stuck together, or what some people would envision a diamond to look like. Not necessarily the actual mineral, but the shape. Okay, so here I can pair my fingers. And then there's the last one there. So there are eight sides. One. Hopefully you can see that, it's kind of hard. Okay, so take the eight sides, divide by two, and that'll give you your cleavage planes. All right, in the last two samples here, you're looking at fracture type. So the first one is pyrite. So pyrite does not have cleavage, and it just has the random breaking. Okay, so think of what that fracture type is, and write that down. And the last one is quartz. This quartz also does not have cleavage. It sometimes will have the other fracture type, which is conchoidal, but these specimens do not appear, eh, maybe a little bit right there. So the conchoidal fracturing is that onion-like breaking pattern that you would see in a very glassy mineral or sometimes obsidian, which is volcanic glass. So that's the conchoidal fracturing in quartz. Okay, so once you finish that, you can move on to the next section.